Nice. What everybody here needs to know is that really, three years. Right here. Brad's been coming. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at you, Brad. Okay. Brad's been coming here because he loves me. We have fun playing out it's there. It's a nice bar. Rancho and I are good so friends. Oh, the best. Oh, I think we're back from the break. Let's see how long it takes Drew to figure out we're back from the break. <laughs> a little science experiment. Yes. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Once we bait the grass. Nothing. So, uh, Drew, want to go back on the air? Or? No, I don't know. Do you want to? Sure. You can just end the show now. Huh? No. Oh, there's so much to say. I think we should go. We're going to talk a little bit about some of our favorite and yeah. least favorite moments of the show. And I gotta tell you, I went through it, all I could find was 112 bad moments. And I, <laughs> no. I just kind of, oh, oh, no. I'm just kidding. Things I liked, Yeah. Really. hot or not, when you, you, you burped so much you couldn't speak. Ah, uh, yes, that, right? was, that was very <laughs> good. I, and I love the uh, alien love bite business because we were both thoroughly perplexed about the weirdness of that chick. Who was into the whole alien? Yes. Yes. She went completely Hard off the deep end. Even right? though she was born as hell, it was still really cool. Right, right. right. Thanks, Todd. The pirate day moment was nice. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Pat, Pat McCrotch was nice for a recent Pat moment. <laughs> Couldn't stop that. I know. Couldn't stop laughing. And, and the luge will always have a soft spot in my heart. You like the luge that much, huh? Yes, just because of the way you, you it, the giggles tickled you, right? Right. Yeah, but, it was pretty funny. But if, if we may go through briefly my not so favorite moments. Yeah. There was the can opener with the Food Olympics. <laughs> I was not wild about it. That was awesome. You were still mad about that a few weeks uh, later. I, I had blisters for a long time. I right? totally understand. Um, there was the incident that I believe was referenced earlier. Yes. When, when I was berated for a certain questioning nature. Yes. Um, there have been a few times when we broadcasted to no one, which was a little <laughs> unmotivating. Um, there was a certain incident where someone decided to create a MySpace, MySpace page in my honor. I was I was less than thrilled about such a development. And just so you know, that MySpace page does not exist anymore. Oh, all right, all right. As far as you know. <laughs> yeah. Right. Don't then, uh, then there were some jelly beans that early on in my tenure here on the show with you. Oh. <laughs> there was one that tasted like complete anchovy. Yes. Rectum. The Harry Potter jelly beans. Yes. Um, I will say my worst moment was clearly the. the the Christmas blow up. It was the incident. Up. It was not a very good But, moment, but you know, know, that was some of the best radio we ever had. After it. Especially. Any time that you got mad at us and yelled at us, I mean, it was great. <laughs> I know. Because it, so it was totally unscripted and it was, it was great. Now, the best thing about that Christmas blow up was the fact that the last hour of the show was still very, very good. It was one of the more classic hours of the show. You yelling uh, at us was still good. Like yeah. the time you got mad at Alan. Yeah. That was good too. <laughs> yeah. He was an idiot. Sometimes. See? Yeah. Was there anything else you wanted to reference? Well, oh, no, that was, those are the only two okay. things that were ever any good about this. <laughs> <show. laughs> I'm going to turn the mic over to Shaw Teets for a minute. Thanks. To see, uh, first Thanks of all, lot. it's really good to see you here. I was scared that maybe you wouldn't make it due to the tornado outside. Dude, this is a nightmare. It's like a hurricane. You are the biggest pussy uh -huh. I've ever <laughs> seen. I'm going to kick you in the eye. I'm going to kick you so hard, you man. Are the biggest you know, I hate that stuff, man. <laughs> You're a big pussy. Well, i got to tell you, Brad, you know, we've been through ups and downs, ins and outs. I don't think you really realize this, but I've always respected you. I've Thank always you. thought of you as a friend. Seriously. And I'm going to miss coming in here to all the different uh, human bodily fluids. <laughs> I'm going to miss that. I'm going to miss the, uh, you know, once or twice there's passed out people, you know, who's been in here when I came in and uh, dragging them out. The, the smell of vomit, that was good. But uh, overall, I want to say, man, really, uh, you, you came in here and you took your show and you ran with it. And, uh, and, I'm really proud of you, you know, I really am. It's going to be sad not to have you around because you're one of the family. And you always have been to me, even though we don't always see eye to eye. But hell, we give each other hell about it, and it's all right. So, Hot Carl, without you, when did I'm going to cry, Brad. Thank you, man. No, seriously, thank you very much. <laughs> I had a good time. I did, too. Rancho, thank you so much. And you're more than welcome, man. Enjoyed it. Lady Juke, thank you. You're welcome. Juke, good God, how can I thank you enough? You have the biggest... Biggest, biggest head I've ever seen. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so, without further ado, we've got one final song. This is the Wild Wild West Bar Show signing off for the very last time. Thank you. Good night. God bless you. And adios. Okay.